Well, get everyone and welcome back to another David Maxwell Golf video where today I'm testing out the Bushnell Wingman Mini. Now, I absolutely love this thing. In fact, I've had this thing for quite a few weeks now and I have put this thing through its paces everywhere. I have literally taken it to work. I've taken it into the indoor uh, simulators down at the T-Block. I've taken it down to the chipping greens. I've taken it on course. I've done a full and thorough test of the Bushnell Wingman Mini just so I can do this review for you guys today. Now let me tell you that this little thing packs a punch and it is more than just a wireless speaker that you see here. It has an app that goes with it which is absolutely phenomenal so you get all of the features of the Bushnell app. You can push a button and it'll read out your distances to you and tell you how far you have to the middle, front and back of the pin, uh, or back of the green. You can change tracks on here, you can adjust the volume up and down. It is fully, fully waterproof, you name it, this thing has got it. It's got a carabiner that you can hook onto your bag. You can also grab it and you can stick it onto your buggy because it's got a magnet on the back here, which is awesome. If you're out and about and you just want to stick it onto your bag, say for example, if this is in your bag, I mean, how cool is that? You can just go and grab it. You can stick it onto a golf club. That thing is not going to fall over no matter what you do with it because the magnet here is so strong. Yeah, if that's not an energetic intro, I don't know what is. But basically, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you exactly how to use this thing. We're going to play a few holes on course, which is going to be awesome because I haven't done a video out on course for a little minute. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you want to see more of this on course content. But we're going to get out there and uh, play a few holes with some tunes with the Bushnell. I will say, actually, I was a little bit apprehensive because I've always been somebody who doesn't necessarily like music on course. I want it quiet. I want it more professional setting like but actually having music on course i found it really helps me relax especially in those practice rounds and it just helps me enjoy golf whether i'm out practicing whether i'm out you know just doing chipping and putting or whether i'm actually out on the course practicing it's been really good for me so it's not going anywhere in fact it's really not going anywhere so now i'm going to run you through how this bad boy works with your mobile phone all right so i'm going to open the bushnell golf app very simple you'll see now automatically connects i've got everything there so what I'm going to do is I'm actually wanting to play golf. So I want to go play golf. It's going to go and search for my local course here, which is Lynx Hope Island. Lynx Hope Island Golf Club. Uh, round five, we're just going to play the back one. So I'm going to select start round, then, and then. Lynx Hope Island Golf Club, blue tee, par 71, hole 10, par four, center 349 meter, front 331, back 364. How cool is that? Now that's from the 10th tee because I started it from the 10th tee, but really we're on the uh, 15th here. So if I go to 15, um, I can just do that as well. I can just push this little B, this little B there for Bushnell. All I do is I just press that. Hole 15, par four, center 390 meter, front 376, back 402. There we go. Okay, so you can do that. And then when you're done with that, of course you can go back into your tunes. <coughs> Let's go. All right guys, so the tunes are on in the background. I've now got to have a first swing, but I'm definitely not warmed up. So I've got the Kirkland out. The Kirkland, great cheap ball from Costco that you can get for moments like these when you're straight from work, straight on the course, and you don't really want to lose an expensive ball. Oh, that is nice. That's a great start. Jamming to some old Alabama with your baby laying right here. Okay, too much. All right, guys, so we hit a good drive. We're out here. We're in the middle of the fairway, which is fantastic. So how do you now use the Bushnell to get the distances? Well, you can open up the app on your phone and you can check out the distances of exactly where you're going to be hitting it from, or you can just push that B button. Hole 15, par 4, center 178 meter, front 170, back 192. All right, so 192 to the back. Uh, I've got five iron, probably should go four really, but we'll just go five, see how we go. I've hit that really, really good. I don't think it's going to be far enough, it's straight enough, but... Oh no, I pulled it a little bit left, we might have to chip up and down, but you know what? Distances are perfect, hit it pretty much exactly where I thought it would be. I thought a five might just be a little bit short, but wind's kind of behind and hard to guess, second swing. So, let's get up there. Let's get up and down. Actually, before we do that, what I wanted to show you guys is I wanted to show you some of the extra features that, that come with it. So 
you can do this thing here which is now going to record my shot distance okay so I can see exactly how far I hit that five iron by just pushing that little icon there on the left it's going to record my shot distance as we go well that sun is absolutely brutal but I'm going to throw it up there you can see the shot distance it's going to constantly just wind up as I'm going down the fairway I can leave the app open I can see exactly how far I'm hitting each shot get a little bit more data for myself and uh, just see if I did pick the right club at the start or not all right so as it turns out I'm actually on the green albeit I don't have much much luck here because I am on the green except I'm gonna have to literally chip it to get over that mound I hit that 171 so you know what that's probably this is playing a little bit uphill so that's probably the right distance there for a five iron I can see my pitch mark right here I'll fix that and uh, yeah I mean kind of happy with those two shots to be honest with you but this is going to make it tough all right so i got a pitching wedge here i would probably normally play this with say like a 56 or something but just to keep the grounds been happy we're going to go a pitching wedge and just a little bump and run over that hill that's actually really good get in the hole wow why don't i do that more often that's a gimme we're going to take that and go to the next hole Alrighty, so the next cool feature, we've just finished a hole, what we can do, we can enter our score, we've got a par there, we hit the fairway, technically it was two putts because I was chipping off the putting surface, if you want to put that as two putts you can, oh I'm going to put it as two putts because that's exactly the way that they do it, oh no it wasn't 16, sorry, it had already switched me to the hole as 16, so I can just go back there, I can go back to 15 because that's the hole that we played, I can re-enter that score, uh, four, we hit the fairway, we had two putts, now we're on 16, we can change that score here once we've finished the hole. Um, but let's get to it. So what do we have? We have 299 meters to the back, 291 to the middle, 282, that is on a direct line to the pin. Or we have a safe layup. You can see there on the app, we have a safe layup at around 216. But who's playing it safe? Seriously. Right, so another thing that you can do, because of this carabiner here, this is really small enough to sit on your waistband and you're not going to feel it. You're honestly not going to feel it. So if I'm here, and say for example, it's a long walk from the cart to the tee box, which can happen in a lot of places, you can bring this with you. You can just simply click that B again. Part four, 290 meter to the pin, front 281, back 298. There we go. So we got all the distances. We are into the wind, so we're probably not going to hit the green today. However, you're able to just grab that carabiner. You can clip it onto the back of your pants here when I find a belt loop, and it really doesn't get in the way at all. Let's hit a drive. That's nice. That's going to be perfect. Perfectly over that bunker in the fairway. Happy, happy, happy days. If there's ever anything that kind of gets me nervous, it's hitting a great driver right here in the middle of the fairway, only to come here and see a bunker with a very tucked tight front pin and a short 60 meter chip. We have 60 meters here, as you can probably see from the app. So 60 meters to the middle, which is showing me 52 to the front and 68 to the back. Uh, not only that, I'm on a little bit of a downslope and you can't probably see it, but this is a little bit wet underfoot. So if I hit a 60, I've either got to hit it really clean, I'm also into the wind, or I've got to go off 56. So this makes me a little bit nervous. But what I can do is I can move that pin. I can say, okay, it's probably around about a 50 meter shot to exactly hit the pin, but I have until 63 meters to the back. So I've got 13 meters that I can play with. I can see that using the GPS app. Why don't I just play it safe? and hit a 55 meter shot and give myself a shot at birdie. Let's do that. The next question is 56 or 60, and this 56, going into the wind, I think it's gonna be about a 60 meter shot. So let's just hit that. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. Look, that's around to the back of the green. The grain goes down, I'm going to have a bit of a putt back up the hill, but I'm able to look at that data, I'm able to measure a shot, I'm not able to put it in the bunker. I didn't put it in the bunker, I didn't fly it over the green, I didn't duff it, I thought my way through it. The app really helps with that, and also so does this, because if it's on your, say for example, if this was just carts on pars, my carts all the way over there. Hole 16, part 4, 55 meter to the pin, front 47, back 63. I can do all of that right here, so that makes it easy. Let's fix this and get on the green. All right, so this is what we looked at. Like I'm saying, we, we've rolled down to the back here. We pitched a little bit past the pin, which is exactly what we measured for. So we pitched here, which is probably that 55 meter mark. Just rolled out a little bit. And now we've got an opportunity for birdie. Made the hole easy. Let's see if we can sink it. And that is pretty good. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, rolled around the hole. Well. It's a stress-free, easy par. It was a good putt, good drive, good chip. 
All of that sort of stuff is made easy because one of the things that I really love about this device is it just helps simplify golf. Sure, there's a whole lot of other stuff in it that is really, really good. You've got music, you've got all of that stuff that you can take with you around the round and just really enjoy golf. And then when you've got the GPS on there as well with the app, it's just so, so cool. Let's get to the last hole. All right, guys, last hole, we are down here on the 17th at Lynx Hope Island. Absolutely beautiful hole. This is a tricky hole, okay? So we've got 182 meters to the middle. I'm using the app, as you can see, or I could just push the Bushnell. Hole 17, par three, center 180. As you can see meter. that. Front 170. So we got the back, back at 194. 194. We have the front at 170, as you can see, but we are into the wind and we do have 170 meters worth of carry straight over water. So I'm gonna go a four iron. Don't necessarily have a club. Uh, other than that, I probably could go a five iron, except I don't wanna end up in the water if I have a bad strike. So four iron it is. Again, I've thought through this. I've measured the shot. I can look at the app and see exactly what I'm trying to hit, which is really cool. I love that bird's eye view just from any GPS app, but here we go. Let's see how we do. There's already a tee in the ground. That's got to be a good sign. We're literally going to go straight at this and we're going to have to, I think we're still going to have to give this the bones. It's a four iron from 180, which is about 210 meters, I think, something like that. Left to right wind. Let's go. I've hit that okay. Not great. Okay. And that is just short. Wow. There we go. So here we are. We're going to go a pitching wedge again because it worked the first time. So. Why not try that little bumper run again and see if we can get it close to the pin. That's pretty good again. Pitching wedge around the greens. Who'd have thought? Might need to putt that one though. Putt this with a glove on. Why not? There we go. In for par. Almost got a birdie on the last hole. But I tell you what, it makes golf really stress free when you've got just some tools to help you. Now, of course, I've concentrated more on the golf side of this tool because, well, I'm a golfer still, really. But what it does allow you to do, and what I love to do, which I can't just go and show you a whole bunch of songs through it, otherwise I won't let me put, post a video, but um, it allows you to just go out and have fun on the golf course. You can get your Spotify, you can connect it to this, you can have the tunes playing, you can go out with some mates, you can really, really enjoy it, and I've done that, and everybody just loves it. It just creates a different atmosphere while you're playing golf. And I absolutely love this thing. If you haven't checked these out already, you definitely need to get one. Make sure you check out Bushnell, Wingman Mini, get some. See you guys. See you on the next video.